we're gonna explain everything. Are we gonna be doing anything with the race team on the channel in the future? The answer though for you guys. What's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Daily Driven Exotics. Dave in the house. Say what's up. Good morning. Dave and I, in the name of transparency, want to explain more about what exactly we're going to do with this. Really the details of Hyper NFT, kind of the origins of how this all came about. Well, at the same time, we're going to get this Viper down and what are we doing? We're going to unwrap it today. We're going to put it in the sun where it's easier. We're going to pull this wrap off. So we're going to take the wrap off this car. Like we said in the last video, if you missed that, there are a lot of parts on here that belong to the race team because this was converted to a street drift Viper. That means there's an angle kit that's very proprietary to the race team. There's a locking rear differential. There's the whole hydro brake system. There's extra calipers on this car. These wheels belong to the sponsorship of the wheels to the race team, the tires, the headers. And then there's some parts for this street car that were taken off and put on the, the race car. The carbon fiber X brace. A race seat in here that belongs to the race team. The stock seats are upstairs. We have a lot to discuss and a lot to go over. Before we even get into this, we have the 550 here. So we need to move the 550 out. We need to get the Viper down. While we're doing all this, we're going to explain everything. So if you didn't know what's under here, this is our 1999 Ferrari 550 Marinello. The 550 came with a gated gearbox. And that's why I talked to Dave and said, hey, we should pick this thing up with the gated gearbox and the three pedals. Pretty cheap V12, naturally aspirated. You have the ability to make this engine sound quite crazy because once you're restored, like remove all the restriction, the cats and get the proper header length and everything. It's got that high pitched, crazy screaming V12 sound. Well, look at you go. Dave's been been working out or something. I a non running car on the ball and a running car up top. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not sure. Well, that thing's actually not as heavy as I thought it would be to push. Hey, that. Yeah. It's actually pretty light. Ben Pack hooked up all these brand new lifts. They're all professionally wired. They're plumbed, they're air. A lot of effort and time, a lot of people. He had a plumber, he had an electrician, but they're finally done. Let's pull this beast out of the air. One Viper key, sir, coming right up. Let's go. No, let's hope we don't have more dead batteries today. But I kind of just LOA'd that a little bit. Yeah, this one's- It's a squeeze. It honestly, like, hold on, before, actually. <laughs> get out for a sec, get out for a sec, get out for a sec. The whole setup with this seat, honestly, has been a nightmare to drive with. This has this bolt that goes right into your hip the whole time. The stock setup and everything in this car is actually really nice. Oh yeah, I know it was great. If you guys are ever thinking about getting a Viper, this car was really cool stock. And you know that people have gone and done like twin turbos, just like Huracans. You drive this car 2,000 miles straight and get out and not be sore. Like it was a very comfortable GT car as well. Yeah, because we drove it all the way up to the Bay Area that one time. Yeah. That was great. Okay, fire it up, cold start. Oh, that bolt, you weren't joking, that was a real reaction. This is why Dave Coulter likes Rolls Royces and Bentley. <laughs> All right, sir. Keep going, keep going, and stop. Hey, back up. Turn the wheel the other way. You'll have to make it out now. Okay, stop. There you go. All right, you guys, the Viper is now sitting in the sun. It's been an hour because I went and ran and got a haircut. Let's not make a big thing of it. It's a month overdue. The easiest one, I always like to start with this, the windshield banner. Look at this. Oh, yeah. Do you recall the first time you and I wrapped a car together? Unwrapped or wrapped? Unwrapped. I believe it was my Huracan back in Victoria in the old HQ, wasn't it? It was. And 2018. We're gonna tell you guys, you know, more of our inner workings, some of our relationships now. Of course, we can't disclose everything. Some privacy stuff in play here when you run a business. So while we unwrap this car and remove the Hyper NFT logo and all the branding, let's explain the origins of how we met Hyper NFT. Hyper NFT is a company. So there are multiple people involved, obviously, in that company. But the one in particular individual, we met at a Malibu Cars and Coffee. He had a 
light gray uh, Koenigsegg Regera there. Went over and checked out and started a conversation with him. Just obviously around cars. He drove his car from OC to Malibu and then Regera, he didn't ship it. That's right, that's and what we got like, our- that's cool, bro. That's what got our attention. We were like, this guy's really cool. He's a hypercar owner that drove his car opposed to shipping it or transporting it. He actually drove it on the 405. And then as the conversation evolves, you know, things like family and other things of her interest all kind of meshed up. And that's how it was born, that relationship. I started hanging out more, doing more car stuff once in a while. Yep. Hyper NFT, the actual company, came about because the crypto market, NFTs were blowing up. They're going crazy. As you know, a whole bunch of people made a whole lot of money. Look, I'm gonna stop you right now. I know some of you are like, yeah, there was some things that weren't good about NFTs. You're right. There are always good people and bad people. There were some bad people that got involved with NFTs and scammed a bunch of people. We were super cautious before we ever decided to do anything with anybody around the crypto space, especially NFTs. And I just wanna say before we get any further into this conversation, Hyper NFT to date has never sold anybody anything. They've never taken anybody's money. So I just wanna put it to bed right now that this isn't another one of those things. And not all of the NFT space is a big scam, it's not. They had the digital assets that they were gonna sell eventually, but those were attached to real world experiences around Hyper cars and supercars. Let's back it up again. We're hanging out with them. We're yep. doing more car stuff. We end up getting into what do we do and how does what we do work? I'm one of the biggest automotive creators on the internet. So it made sense that we got into that space and we learned a ton. We did a lot of research, met other people that worked in that space. We're like, yeah, we wanna learn more about this. That's important too. Understand that we value you guys mm -hmm. first and foremost. So when we go and we get something to promote to you guys, I've had the products or service shipped to us. Mm -hmm. We've tested it, we've tried it, we've looked at the price point. Like I take this really seriously. Yeah. People can't just buy us. If I say to you, go buy this hand soap and you buy it and you have a bad experience, chances are going to be like, well, Dave told me to buy it. So I want to make sure you're actually going to get the good experience. It hurts Shipping us, returns, right? it has a huge impact on us. So we legit take it seriously. That's why most companies you see us working with are big companies, the track record have been vetted and have a history of customer service that we depend on. And because of that, we've actually fortunately worked with a lot of our companies for many years. We felt confident that we could get into some sort of a partnership and sponsorship with the Hyper NFT brand. We talk budgets and we talk ideas and concepts. So yeah. I put my thinking cap on. Somebody we know needs money to go racing. We were gonna do something with Hyper NFT one way or another. Right. But I thought it'd be really cool to incorporate what we were doing with our other friend. That's how we got a title sponsorship for the race team. What's happened and what's transpired in the last little while with the market around crypto. All markets, really. All markets, bunch of stuff has all corrected is the word I would use. Yeah, they're saying that of, As, of online activity that's in trading right now, NFTs are down 95% in trading volume. So there's just less people moving NFTs than there were a few months ago. It changed really quickly. And like everything, the car markets softened. The housing market. housing market softened. Yeah. Everything's kind of taken a correction, like I was saying. So if you had just started a new business, like this one, Hyper NFT, all of a sudden, 95% of the people that were buying the product slash service dropped 95%. You need to stop and kind of go, okay, okay, where's this going? What are we doing? Yeah. And change your strategy a little bit. Now, they're still here and they're strategizing how they're gonna pivot and move. So they might get rid of some of the things that they were gonna do initially when the market was going crazy and pivot and move to doing some different things. And so we were told basically things for our end are kind of on pause at the moment. Now right. that actually has nothing to do with us unwrapping this car. I wanna talk about this car specifically. This Viper was originally purchased because Dean was saying, look, I'd really like to update my Viper. So to give it a new look and to revamp it with the new sponsor and everything. He was like, Gen 5 would be sick. So I was like, well, how do you do that? He's like, well, we need to get a Gen 5 car. I can scan the body and then we can make new body work for the race car. I said, you know what? We will get you a Gen 5 car you can scan and make body work from. Now, in the end, he did end up using that because he found a really good deal and he got a car with basically all the body work and he put that on. Then what happened was we had this car and I was like, well, if you don't need the body work, what, what are we going to do with it? Dean goes, hey, I got angle kit. I got a locking diff. Like we can turn this into a street drift car and you and Dave can mess around with it. And I was like, that's it. I would love to learn how to actually drive a proper drift car opposed to these things that are not that easily driftable. And so that's what we did. That was one little project that we did. So all the parts, like I said in the last video, belong to Dean still. So we're gonna revert the car to a street car because these parts are one very proprietary. Dean's the only person in the world who owns drift Viper parts. He wants them obviously back. We really need the car back to stock because if we don't keep the car, it's the only way it's really worth anything to anybody. And then on top of all that, I love in business 
up to be a man that under promises and over delivers. So with Hyper and us working together, we made a deal to do marketing with them. That's why we're making videos for Hyper NFT and working with those cars that they had, those Hyper cars and making these YouTube videos. I was like, well, hey, why don't we just wrap the street car since we have it to match the race car and we'll brand it also with all the Hyper NFT stuff. That's what I did. That'll over deliver on some of the marketing aspect. And this car can travel around with the race team and basically be, you know, on display. Well, obviously as things went a little sideways, we have a Viper that we no longer really have a use for. We can now unwrap it, get rid of it. I think for a Huracan. What were you saying, Dave? The comments were like, everybody wants a Huracan. Yeah, so the video, I think not a lot of them before that, when we first went back to California, we talked about, do you guys want another Huracan on the channel? And the overwhelming answer was yes. And Wait, what's the tire slayer back? We are going to the Middle East in November. So if we're gonna send a car to Dubai, it needs to be a car we know is gonna run. And we know a Huracan is gonna run. That's what they do, they just run. So we haven't had a car delivery on this channel since March and it's August. That sounds ridiculous that five months is a long time. But for DDE, five months is an eternity. And that's it. Someone asked too, like, are we gonna be doing anything with the race team on the channel in the future? What exactly happened? Look, we're not gonna get into all the details right now. The answer though for you guys is no. The race team's racing, we're doing what we're doing. You're not gonna see them on the channel anytime soon. I'm just being honest with you guys. You asked us to be more honest, being as honest as, as I can without getting into any details that could potentially cause problems. Let's just put it that way. And we honestly don't want any more drama. The only drama I want is my finger is being torn apart by this wrap right now. Should we pound through this now? Should we get through it? This car's actually really easy to unwrap so far. Okay, let's get to work. We need change now. We need solo, we need EV in the game now. Make it change the soda if we know can stay around. And with the power of the California sunshine, we have an orange viper again, you guys. Back. Look at that. Good old TA. Dave is working on the final little bit of that front splitter. She's back. Back to orange. I like this color actually. It's, oh, it's a, more of a tangerine than an orange, but it's a great color. It really is a great color. They made very few of these apparently in this color. Really? It's a lot of work unwrapping a car. Take parts off, get a good polish. Onto the old chopping block to be sold. It's a cool car. Dave's trying to get another free watch. I just want one more free watch. So yeah, I know I lost the last one. And I know it was the Patek Philippe. I know it was $200,000, but mistakes happen. What you can do is replace it with a new one that I won't lose this time. You guys are <laughs> What's up, Gabe? What up? How are you doing, you beauty? Good, man. I'm here waiting for you guys. So we'll come see you. We'll go for a little cruise. We'll go to Happy Jewelers. And so we also can bum off you. Okay, let me see you. Bye. See ya. Don't make it weird. <laughs> Don't make it weird. <laughs> I'm going to take the Diablo for the drive up. Uh, and we're getting food. So stick around. Because we're going to do a food vlog portion of this. We're going to rate the food, the service, the cleanliness. I'll rate it. And our overall experience. I'll rate it. We're going to have a Dave rating. Right. Can you pull the Viper in? I'll pull the Diablo out. Just Who's going out first? I'll go out. You go in, same time, meet in the middle. Same time, same entrance. <laughs> how the floors turned out. Yeah, like, dude, it looks really good in here. The lights and everything. Cars of color look really good on this floor. Why do you have that look? Oh, you're gonna rev it. This car is very loud. It sounds very good, but it's very loud. You like that, eh? <laughs> you're the man. Oh, Why did you put the van on the lift? Honestly, I just noticed when I came back from my haircut, it was When you were there. getting your hour and 25 minute haircut, I was sitting here like this and I reversed it and I got bored. So I want to see, can you do it? It was actually like a, like a 16 point. Be able to get it to back up and line up. <laughs> That's actually, funny. I, I wanted to look underneath it if there's any oil leaks or anything like that because I was curious, so it's good. So okay, we're going it's to called chicken liaison. Do you know what liaison means in Alphonse? No. House. Ironically, in chicken it's, house. Uh, it's Mediterranean. Mediterranean uh, infused, okay? Look at all this amazing food. That is a great and working environment because these guys are all laughing in the background. I don't know what they're laughing about, they're laughing but they're all happy. So the atmosphere, I can give you the atmosphere of five here. Food is here. What did you order? Half a chicken, day? basil, yeah. hummus, rice. That was it for me. What'd you get? I have the sole filet. I had some fresh veggies and we got one chicken skewer just to try it. That's it. We're diving in. So I'm not gonna lie. I've, I've been here before. I've had this sole as good as I remember it. It's light, flaky. The rice is perfectly cooked. The veggies, I love that they're plain. They're super healthy. Those are also not overcooked. They got a little crunch to them. And I want it in the tabula here. I love this stuff. I'm gonna give my meal, out of five stars, a 4.7. Pick that chin up off the ground and flash that smile for me. Put some pep up in that step, it's going down shortly. Got
got so much weight up on my shoulders, all this jewelry on me. Okay, lunch is done. We couldn't film in there because the music was so loud. So I'm gonna add a fourth category to rating system. Is it YouTuber friendly? That's the fourth rating system. Number one, food. I would give my food probably a 3.6 out of five. It was good. There are certain layers of flavors. We have a few more layers, a few more complexities to it. The chicken was moist. The rice was well seasoned. Yeah, I could use a few more elements of surprises in there, things I wasn't expecting. Cleanliness, probably three and a half. There's some opportunities for cleanliness. There's some build up in the corners. Atmosphere, they were all incredibly funny. I'll give a 4.5 for friendliness. Uh, YouTuber friendly. The music, we couldn't film in there, so it gets a one out of five for YouTuber friendly. <laughs> What was your rating? I looked on the floor, I was looking in the corners, I was looking in the kitchen. I I'd honestly give them a really high cleanliness rating. I give them like a 4.8. Everybody's super nice, super friendly, super nice, 4.8. Maybe some room for improvement, but I mean, everybody was nice. They said bye to us, they acknowledge us. They're all laughing amongst each other, they're having a good time. The service is really good, so yeah. I rate this place really high. I really like the food, I like the flavors. You ordered something really bland, so that's on you. Come on, David, I have a difference of opinion than you. I ordered the, the basil chicken, and then the YouTuber category, I made it up to be funny. Okay, well the YouTuber category gets a zero for me because you can't do anything in there. The music's blaring. I wouldn't even give it a one. Well, it can still do slow mos and was, the lighting wasn't bad. It wasn't like a dark cave. Fair enough. Ha! Ha! Perspective. Oh. Oh. One mile, Mona. Not you. Look at this. Look at this. Yeah. Yep. The chandeliers. The chandelier. That's the chandelier. Dude. So a factory AP like this with all these diamonds is worth. What do they sell for? A couple million. <laughs> there you go. You hold that. Put that on. It's right up your alley, bro. If I had tattoos and pecs like you, I'd wear it. There is something here that's right on my alley. That's the Richard Mill right there. The that's RM, beautiful. man. That's cool. It's a Bubba Watson. And you guys have this blue strap. Yeah. We have the blue strap. Let's put it on. Let's put it on. Just use this. No, wait, wait, wait. No, 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 don't touch it. Don't touch it. <laughs> so pick it away. Start reefing. <laughs> you actually look nervous for a second. Yeah. You look nervous. How, no, how, much, is it? how much is it? Yeah, yeah it's uh, 385000 Oh, that's cheap compared yeah. to that. Yeah, it is. Exactly. This one is a deal with all the diamonds, so, right? You would think, like, both the watches yeah. next to each other. Yeah. This one weighs literally nothing. That weighs this one has, nothing. Yeah, it's, this is rose gold with diamonds and everything. That thing feels like the brick. Yeah, it is. It is. It is a brick, but it's all customized. But this is 385,000. This one is 75,000. Wow. Big difference. So cool. <laughs> I like the way it counts. It counts a good. I like it. Lunch money, hey? Yeah, lunch money. <laughs> what do you think this guy does for a living? Looks really honest. Really honest. Hey, by the way, speaking what? of living, it makes no sense that transition when you use it anyways. Yes. I noticed you guys in a really big parking lot, and I had an idea. What you if, had an idea? What if I just had this idea? Hold on. Yeah. Yes, sir. I'm excited. Is a permanent this. piece still? That's a per uh, yeah, big parking lot. <laughs> yeah. What if we did a cars and coffee here? That'd, That'd be cool. awesome, man. I like we that. can't call yeah. it cars and coffee. No, that's boring. Right, well, We've had a conversation about this. We call it cars and carrots. Oh, cool. Cars and carrots. Yeah, I was going to say cars and jewelry. Shut up, drug dealer. <laughs> <laughs> what, and what if during that event, Dame and I came in here and we actually worked behind the counter selling watches so our friends and fans would come out? And jewelry. Well, yeah, you and jewelry and chains. Engagement rings to all of our loyal friends. Friends who have girlfriends who want to up the ante and get married. I love to call you out personally. Yes. And what if we did it like I don't know September 18th on a Sunday? Yeah. Let's do it. Well, that works. Sunday works out. Yeah. yeah. Sunday. Yeah, Sunday. I love it when a plan comes together. I just thought that. never even thought about this before. <laughs> Stay tuned September for more September 18th. Cars and carrots officially starts at Happy Jewelers. Oh, oh, it's happening again. Supercars. Hold hypercars. On. Hold on. Like it's another idea. Coffee? We're also gonna have some merch. It's another idea. Yeah, what gonna... if we had a limited edition pendant that's a DD on or something like that? That'd be oh, awesome. Did you make that? Yeah. Yeah, we're, we're gonna run it. What if there's only 99 of them? Send a quick text and see if maybe you can get a quick render of one of those being made. I'm yeah. doing yeah. it right now. Where's my phone? <laughs> Is it done? What Let would it look like? Done. Yeah, show us what it could on. look like. Wait, 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 wait. For the DD fam that comes here, you could buy a one of 100, or is it 99? 99. We're gonna do one of 99. Oh, it's right here. Holy oh, hell! Yeah. Yeah. Oh, there yeah. you go. <laughs> a custom pendant from Happy Jewelers sold to you by us only 99, only 99 September 18th. Honestly, Mark it on your calendar. I'm give you guys a quota. I mean, you guys better meet it. Oh, I'm serious. A quota? Like, you, know, you guys are going to get a quota to sell. I, 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 hold on. I got my money on Damon, though. I'm going to have it. I'm going to have it. I got my money on Damon. We'll bring everybody in the store and then I'll just have this. I lock the door behind me. <laughs> Nobody will 
Oh, you don't leave and then I'm just joking. No, we'll stop you leave and we'll see you bye. Also, go watch this. We go watch. So that's what we're doing: cars and carrots. It'll be a lot of fun. Big event. I'm excited. Here with the family. Oh yeah, we have food trucks coming in too. So food trucks is funny. Yeah, we have like three. I love how you made that happen just now. Okay. That's so cool. Just like great idea. The idea guy here at DDE, Dave. Told her we shut this place down every time we clean the whole place out. Happy jewelers. Check the blind spot over the door. Check the blind spot. Yeah. We don't get jumped. The guy with the gun's gone home. The right actually, right here. no, he's right here. <laughs> Thank, you, brother. Right. Love you. Thank you for finding that gem. Of course. How are you? Call me tomorrow. Let me know or text me. Yep. Thanks for knowing everybody's a grandfather. Yep. <laughs> Inside story. <laughs> Eric, I'm with you, okay? Well, this thing is very crisp and white. Oh, yeah. And I've been working on my, my hands all day. I'm drinking a lot of water in there. What is this? Yeah, it's water. You have to stay hydrated. It's vodka. Yay. Pin activated. What did you just buy? $25 worth of gas, because that's all I can afford. What year is your Huracan? It's a 2015. You want to sell your baseball or Huracan to DDE? Yes. We sell it actually? Yeah. What do you want for it? Probably a price you wouldn't want to pay. What do you want for it? 200? 235. <laughs> <laughs> for 2015? Yeah. I respect the hustle. <laughs> I like those greens. I want to know what's faster, a Tesla or a 1998 Diablo? I'm not sure. It's probably a pretty close race. Are you nervous? This is your first drag race? It's green. He stalled. Oh, he stalled. <laughs> <laughs> well, close. He's pulling on you. He's pulling on you. Oh no. Oh no. Oh. I don't know what's gonna happen. Oh no! Oh! Diablo beats a Tesla Model 3. Touche! Cutting ties with this wish and double life, double vision. I see blue, blue diamonds sideways. It's a race whose time it five days out of state. New climate, no trace, quiet place, move solid. all the videos um she, yeah she's right she, now she's she, laughing she just heard me say that i don't think my mom's ever watched a dd video mom if you're watching this right now call them below and say i'm your mom now you have to be my mom to do that you can't be a random word person i open that door up pretty quickly